let me tell you a great secret the secret of parashari stream of astrology i am teaching a complete course on parashar astrology a five month long course where we are covering every aspect of astrology as developed suggested and practiced by parashar which takes one from the basic levels of astrology focusing on making them an astrologer and covers everything from analysis of a house to timing events in dasha to giving remedies and everything it have more than 27 topics more than 450 techniques and more than 40 hours of teaching and more than 100 pages of teaching right so if you are serious about learning parashara astrology do join that course nonetheless to say shubhama lo is the best option see it it is like uh, it is like eating a mango fruit to know how tasty it is you have to taste it so to know uh, you know what is the experience you have to come to the course is right there is no substitute for that you cannot resist eating a mango and still get a taste of what how it tastes you know so okay the parashara secret the parashara secret see Uh, there are names for it uh, there can be a name for it i will tr- try to refrain myself from giving it a name right this is looking at a particular house from a planet but there's a glitch you cannot check every house from a planet certainly not there are few houses which can be checked from a certain planet and there are few houses which cannot be checked from a particular planet right so if you are going to look at the second house you cannot check second house from every planet no 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 you have to check second house from a you can check second house from a certain planets only keep it very straight and clear in your mind you are not going to make a khichdi you are going to make a beautiful meal for that everything has to be in equal and right quantity mixing everything leads you to a porridge what what it is called khichdi in english i don't know sorry for that okay few houses are very important from mercury first of all i will quickly go through it in the previous video of education i have shown you the example of i don't know if i wish to uh, make that video public or not this with that video have huge secrets related to decoding the education of a person through his horoscope right so i still have to decide whether to make that video public or not right so like excuse me if that video is not public and if it is public like you must have enjoyed it right tested the rules you should definitely do there is no purpose of acquiring a knowledge if you are not going to use it acquiring a knowledge not using it is wasting your time i don't do that rather meditate do some prayers better for the soul right coming to the point fourth house analysis you know how to analyze a house right look at a house planets influencing the house are they benefic planet good result are they malefic planet bad result whenever we say benefic or malefic we are talking of natural benefic or malefic primarily but you cannot ignore functional benefic or malefic also if a house gets influenced by malefics or get influenced if a house get influenced by malefics the result of the house is destroyed these are the natural malefics for functional malefics if sixth lord aspects the house difficulty is there if eighth lord aspects the house the result is destroyed and if the 12th lord aspects the house the result is lost this is my like one of my major techniques that i teach to my students in the class for functional nature of the planets don't consider it as a complete good or bad but rather take it as the signification of the house lorded by the planet getting mixed to the house getting under the aspect of the planet this is the biggest secret in astrological prediction should i did okay malefic natural malefic influencing destroys the house functional malefic influencing 
gives the result of the house they are lord of say for example sixth lord influencing a house gives difficulties related to that house right okay benefits influencing the house gives you blessings related to those house if it is the fourth lord that is influencing a particular house 4000 indicate happiness so you are going to derive happiness from that house this is this these golden lines that i have told you since the starting of the video like this particular thing that i have just talked is a thousand dollar technique in hindi we say lakh tak ki baat hai you have to understand it realize it if you are not practicing uh, if you are not looking at horoscopes if you are not trying to predict just fooling around with astrology you will not understand the importance of my words and if you are looking at chance trying to predict things you get all right you you have to be in a right position to receive things right so it's important to understand okay coming to my point fourth house from mercury indicates the happiness that you derive from life we learned that mercury is a prince and how the position of mercury from sun tells you that if you are a prince who have a powerful king you just have to enjoy or you are a prince who have a weak king who have to win a kingdom for the king first and then sacrifice the kingdom to the king now more so because mercury is a prince and prince have the only duty to sit back relax and enjoy what king have gained and acquired fourth house from mercury shows if the fourth house from mercury fourth lord from mercury remember house first lord after if the fourth house from mercury <clears throat> and when you check a house you check the influences on the house benefic malefic when you check a lord you see strength of the lord weakness of right so there is a clear demarcation once again an advice worth 1000 dollars an advice which comes after years and years of astrological practice no wise cannot tell you this the magic of your perceptor here it is me because you are like watching my video okay four thoughts from mercury you can enjoy life you cannot enjoy that fourth house fourth lord from mercury is strong you are a prince parents have done things for you sit back relax enjoy don't waste use it purposefully with a target set to go sixth house from mercury tells you about your relatives sixth house from mercury is good you have good supportive relatives if you have a fight from your father you can go to your relative they love you equally like their children they will help you support you do things with you six thoughts from mercury is bad your relatives are not good they are a problem for you in this scenario like suppose one of your relative tells you to start a business or one of your cousin sibling tells you to do something together check six thoughts from your mercury if it is good only then proceed otherwise not in my real life practice i have seen many cases where people start business with their cousin etc etc and they fail because six thoughts from mercury is bad so your relatives good for you your relatives bad for you they are thinking good for you they are thinking bad for you will they stand with you at the time of difficulty or not these things are indicated in the six from mercury take any decision invest money invest time invest emotion carefully because in human experience talking from you know my experiences with talking with almost you know five clients per day the biggest disappointment in human life is listening sir i have done so many things financial help emotional help social help five years to my maternal uncle and after five years when my wife was ill i told him to take care of her as i am outside of the town and he said that he's busy hard hard breaking but real six from mercury is here to understand now coming to the point seven from mercury 
Seventh from Mercury tells you the skills of your spouse. Remember what Gemini says, Budhen Kalavati. Mercury indicate artistic talents and abilities. Everyone have some quality. There can be no human. There can be a human which have no bad quality. But there can be no human with a good quality. Cannot be. Even the worst person have four good qualities. And you have to believe my words. Seven from Mercury indicates what is the hidden talent of your spouse. Use it. Seventh from my Mercury is moon in the sign of Cancer. My spouse have a very positive outlook, very great thinking, very good emotional support. Best friend. Because moon is mind. Chandrama Manaso Jataha. Moon is the mind. She have a very good mentality and thinking. I am in any dilemma, any chaos, have to decide anything. I don't do it myself. I tell it to her. She does it for me. And this has been the best decision. I have to take any decision, think about anything. She is more competent than me. I tell it to her. She thinks on my behalf. I just work according to what she has advised. And it has been life changing. I can openly admit that it is only her advice which gives everything good and I am better. Why? Because moon is seventh from Mercury is killed. If Mars is in seventh from Mercury, then the protection, courage, how to deal with people and Mars is Commander-in-chief, that's a position to have. He's not an army man. No, he's not in the army. He's commander-in-chief. Right? Mars in the seventh house from Mercury. How to succeed in life. How to get in a better position. How to excel. How to fight. How to deal with people. How to knock out competition. Ask yourself. Don't take your own decision. That is their expertise. You have to understand that marital life you people are two parts of it. You have a skill set. She have a skill set. If you think yourself as God, don't use her skill set. Who are you? Never do that. Never do that. It is like you having a pistol and still not using that pistol and trying to fight a sumo wrestler using your bare hands, who is intent on killing you, or you having a pistol, an uh, angry bull running towards you, and you not using your pistol, trying to stop the bull with your hand. Don't do this. The only thing I should tell you is to identify the power of people around you. That's why we have society. Is, is society a burden on us? Why we have invented a society? Why we are social people? You have people around you, identify their strengths, identify what they are good at, and then use it. Identify your good qualities and use it for them. That's how you make a better world. Right? And this is what needs to be done. If there is a company and there is one person who does everything in the company, Right from sweeping to managing orders to managing finances, the, the company will be very short-lived. That is for sure. Right? A skill set of your spouse, what your spouse does better than you is indicated by seventh from Mercury. If there is no planet in seventh from Mercury, take the seventh lord from Mercury, where that planet is situated, which house he is situated, which Rashi he is situated, which Navamsha is. Eighth house from Mercury is very important for what? Mercury, despite what you have learned about it, indicate peace. Leave peace. 
Mercury indicate Earth. Mercury is Earth Tattva. Prithvi Tattva. Prithvi Tattva have multiple uses. Prithvi Tattva have multiple uses. Those who have been through my mastering the Rashi course level 1, level 2 have been in blank chat predictions, have been in zero to Jyotish, have been in predicting through classics. They, I think, know 10 to 20 users of how to predict using Earth, Planet, Earth, Rashi. In Parashara course, people also know at least five to seven techniques of predicting through Earth, Rashi, and Earth, Planet. Just one aspect of it. Janani Janam Bhumischa Swarg Dapi Gariyasi. Birthland, motherland is as beautiful as heaven. Is your family life as beautiful as heaven? Or is it a constant struggle? Eighth from Mercury. Maleving an eighth from Mercury, the time you enter your home, you become tensed. Because the consequences are not good. You know that everyone, you go to the home, everyone will start complaining. You haven't done this, you haven't done that. This thing is pending, that thing is pending. You cannot take proper rest. Eight thoughts from Mercury is good, tension free. You enter your home, everything welcomes you, everything is ready for you. You have to be relaxed and tension free. You become more tense not reaching home, or you remain at peace after you reach home. Eighth from Mercury. And more important, if the eighth from Mercury is highly afflicted, you will generally see someone dying in a foreign land. If eighth from Mercury is afflicted, one dies in foreign land. Right? Let's take an example for this. Eighth from Mercury and where the person dies. If eighth from Mercury is afflicted, one dies in a foreign land. It can be actual foreign land or it can be a place whose, what is foreign? A place whose culture doesn't, is, doesn't match your birth culture, right? So if you are a, like a vegetarian born in Gujarat, going and living in a primarily non-vegetarian area like Calcutta is like a foreign land, akin to a foreign. Right, this have to be understood. Whereas being born in India, going to Nepal will not be a foreign land as such. Let's take an example. This is the horoscope of Paramahansa Yogananda, Shri Shri Paramahansa Yogananda, great spiritual saint, brilliant spiritual saint. Once again, Mercury, the fifth. Lord from Mercury is Mars. If this Mars is quite powerful. You should, you should see this horoscope. This is brilliant. Coming to our topic, Mercury is situated in the fifth house with Sun in the sign of Jupiter. Understand one particular point. Jupiter is the Karaka for wisdom. Mercury is the Karaka for intelligence, wisdom and intelligence together. Oh my God. So despite the popular opinion that Mercury in the sign of Jupiter should not be good because they are inimical towards each other, if you look at it from the current perspective, Mercury in the sign of Jupiter should be good. It should be without a doubt. Check it from Mercury. That is the 12th house, the sign of Cancer. You don't see anything bad, certainly, because you don't use up, up, Prakash Grahas and Pagrahas that are very important. Before making any astrological predictions, I repeatedly say it to my students and I repeatedly say it to everyone. I think I am the only astrologer who uses a Prakash Graha and Upagrahas very prominently. And this is the basic reason behind my successful predictions. You know, one day I, I thought that I should collect all the client feedbacks that I have had since like you know since i had this phone 
I purchased the phone in September and it was around March, second, third of March when I decided that let's collect all the feedback from clients that I have received from when iPhone was launched in September from that date to second of March. I have found 212 screenshots. I'm like, okay, now how to manage it? The reason behind these successful, accurate, and beautiful predictions are my extensive uses of this Aprakash Grahas and Pakrahas and those other secrets that I teach in my courses, classes, and I am also telling you in the videos, this understanding, researches, the way of looking at a horoscope in depth, etc. Specifically, the researches, the knowledge of the parampara, the calculations and the settings that I use, and my method of using astrology is the key behind it. And the testimony to it is are those clients who have taken consultations from me and who come back every time because the previous prediction was correct and they want further advice. However, coming to my point, we are digressing from the topic. Eighth from Mercury, you see an empty cancer. I don't see it as an empty cancer. I see Mercury, that is a Melife situated here. The Lord of Cancer is the planet Moon, which is in Magha. Gandanta Nakshatra, further reference. This moon is situated in the ascendant. There he shares the Rashi with Yamakantak, Ardha Prahar, and Parivesh. Further more afflicted. These afflictions to the eighth house from Mercury and to the eighth lord from Mercury makes the fact that Sri Pramhans Yoganand, who was born on Gorakhpur, in Uttar Pradesh, died in Los Angeles, California. Los Angeles, Los Angeles, I don't know how it is pronounced, in California. Death in a foreign land. Going further, the 10th house from Mercury is once again very important. Why it is very important? Mercury indicate commerce. Mercury also indicate communication. For the sake of communication, you have to see second house is mouth. From mouth you speak. Third house is hands. Not third house is not the hand. Basically fifth house is the hand. Third house is the shoulder. So if you say third house is writing, you probably write from your shoulder. God knows. Hand is the fifth house. That's why the planet influencing the fifth house, that is right hand, and the planet influencing the ninth house, left hand, tells you the marks that you will have in your hands. Sun is square. If sun is influencing your fifth house or ninth house, you are supposedly going to have a square mark in your hand. Check it. The shapes of the other planets, you probably know. I'm not telling you that. Okay. Fifth from Mercury indicates the written communication. However, second from Mercury indicates the verbal communication. You have to check the second from Mercury, specifically the points that second house from Mercury is getting in the Ashtavarga of Mercury to know how good orator someone is. More the points, more the benefit influence, stronger the Lord of the Rashi, which falls in second from Mercury, better the orator, better the communication skills of the day. My point was 10. 10th house from Mercury because Mercury indicate commerce, vanij. Mercury is the karga for vanij. That means commerce that translates to business. Because Mercury is a karga for that, if the 10th house from Mercury is affliction free, if the lord of the 10th house from Mercury is powerful, one is a very successful businessman without any doubt. Because I am talking of business, let me tell you. Planets in Gandam, planet in Ashwini Nakshatra, Revati Nakshatra, Asalesha Nakshatra, Magha Nakshatra, Jeshta Nakshatra, Mula Nakshatra. A strong planet. For example, 
सन इन अश्विनी एग्जॉल्टेड मार्स इन अश्विनी ओन राशि मून और जुपिटर इन असलेशा सन इन मगा मार्स इन ज्येष्ठा जुपिटर इन मूला वीनस और जुपिटर इन रेवत स्ट्रॉन्ग प्लैनेट्स इन गंडान मेक्स वन अ वेरी ब्रिलियंट बिजनेस मैन विदाउट एनी डाउट अनदर पॉइंट आई हैव टोल्ड यू इन द सीरीज मर्करी वीनस हैविंग गुड कनेक्शन मोस्ट मोस्ट प्रेफरेबली आइदर सिचुएटेड टूगेदर और थ्री इलेवन टू इच अदर वेर बोथ ऑफ देम आर स्ट्रॉन्ग एंड अफ्लिक्शन फ्री मेक्स वन अ वेरी गुड प्लेस Another factor is the tenth house from Mercury. Is stronger the tenth house from Mercury when we talk of strength, we are talking of the tenth lord from Mercury. And more the benefit influence in the tenth from Mercury, better will will be one's business. Better these houses. Better will be one's success in the field of. business for example quickly let's look at a few horoscopes this is the horoscope of bill gates mercury is situated in virgo 10th from mercury is the sign gemini the lord of gemini is mercury itself and this mercury is situated in virgo at 22 degrees that is the own rashi of mercury in schedule this mercury is having 112% of strength that is again quite powerful the 10th house from mercury is not having any major malefic influence whereas in the 10th from mercury there is this planet yamakantak which behaves like jupiter benefic influence only doubtless to say bill gates is a very successful businessman steve jobs mercury in capricorn 10th house from mercury you see a saturn Saturn is a malefic, but that is exalted. The tenth lord is Venus. That Venus is situated in Sagittarius, but this Venus is Virgo. The tenth house from Mercury is situated is aspected by Mars, but this Mars is in his own rash. Once again, tenth from Mercury is having Yam Kantak, that is the son of Jupiter. You see, two malefics are influencing tenth from Mercury, but both of them are quite powerful. This made Bill Gates the most successful businessman and the most successful salesman of the world. Bill Gates and his success. you have to read about you have to read how phenomenal a businessman he was how phenomenal a salesman he was and what he have achieved such a product like iphone and the worth it have in international market today is all because of bill gates another example the horoscope of march agarwal mercury is in aries Tenth house from Aries is Capricorn, whose lord is Saturn, that is exalted in the sign Libra in the ninth house from Mercury. Once again, tenth lord from Mercury, powerful Mercury Venus situated together. Once again, make him a very successful businessman. You probably know how successful a businessman Mark Zuckerberg is. so though we can talk more on mercury but i think uh, this much have been like we have covered a whole lot of things about mercury so i think i i'm stopping here let's meet in the next video thank you for watching have a good day